This time on Finnegan's Garage, we're way down in Florida for Sick Week 2025, and we're gonna find out exactly how many ponies does Blasphemy Semi put to the rear tires in the middle of a drag and drive event. We're gonna drive like a thousand plus miles and not sleep and not eat and, you know, have fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Kevin here is gonna drive it, Pete's gonna tune it, and uh, when we leave here, we're gonna head straight to a racetrack to finish our 2025 Sick Week movie that we're making for you guys. You'll see it at a later date. For now, let's just find out how much power it makes, all right? We are in the middle of Sick Week 2025. It's day four, things are going awesome. We have completed every checkpoint, the whole drive. I don't know how many miles we've done, but it was like 3.30 the first day, 2.20 the second day, 180 yeah. last night. Uh, we even made a detour to KSR Performance here in Gainesville, Florida for a party last night. Yep, we had a good time. Had a great time. Kevin was kind enough to say, hey, you're here. Let's strap it to the rollers and find out what it actually makes. And uh, yep. when a man who wakes up every morning of his life and pisses excellence <laughs> offers you something like that, you take it, no matter what it is. Yeah. Uh, you want to drive? Yeah, I'll drive. I'll watch. You drive it. OK. All right, dude. Cool. Have Let's fun. Let's go. Shaky. Loud. Loud. <laughs> it felt like it laid over. Well, I rolled into it. It's, it's, but it uh, it was shaking real bad. Yeah, those uh, wheels and tires probably aren't real round. So we exceeded our goal. What was our goal? And that was uh, 34,368 horsepower. Oh, we win. Let's just go right to the track. <laughs> it's some good. Must be pissed off something with the RPM signal. Okay. Uh, we, we didn't get any real data from the dyno on that, but we can plug the laptop in, you know. We what went at 34,000 horsepower. How much? 34,000 34, horsepower. 34,000? Yeah. yeah. I think we set a record. Wow. I, no How wonder we, we're blowing the tires off the car. The clutch can't hold it. <laughs> no. No, that explains everything. And we went 2,091 miles per hour. I'm gonna need a refund on my free dyno session, Kevin. <laughs> the data seems flawed. The data is definitely so. skewed. Dyno, your fuel tech's got nothing on this dyno. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, all yours, Pete. Battleship power. Dude, we move mountains with that. What did you do to that thing, Pete? I don't know. Man, <laughs> is there two cams in it? It's the valve job. Woo! It's oh, the valve job. Oh. It's all the welding. That may be it dumping all that fuel in there. Hey, Kevin, you want Pete to plug in and look at what it did? Yeah, you might as well. I mean, See if it dumped the fuel in? It uh, was definitely kind of pissed off. Question is, do we care that we got a good pull that one or just want to turn it down and see what it does? Let's ask Kevin. Do you think if you make another pull, will it, uh, will it work, the dyno? Hopefully. I, I haven't had one read that far off ever. Occasionally I'll get a single, like one or two weird numbers, but that one was wildly off. Well, I mean, Actually, let me try grounding the chassis for the next one. That may help. We can turn the correction down anyhow, because we know that it can't be right. Yeah, you can hear it not yeah. being happy. So yeah, that'll tell us something. So that time was 25% fuel, right? 25, make it five. Definitely gets pretty wicked shake to it. Yeah, it, it's not on the track that it does it, but when we put it on a dyno, it shake the quarter panels off the car. <laughs> it feels like it. And, it. and it's these wheels specifically. Oh, They're okay. just not, you know. The Wait, race the, bent a little bit or something? I think so. Ready for another one? Yep. Let's go All again. Right. Still had a little dip, 
but it not nearly as bad. Yeah, it sounded way way gooder. <laughs> wow. I love that vibration of your drum. We're on the right track. Huh? I don't know what the number is. I'm not even care, sure I care what the number is. It, the dip was a lot less. So what did y'all change? So what it was doing was when he hit it the first time, it dumped 25% more fuel in it that it probably didn't need. Pete changed the limit so it could only put 5% in it. And so the dip was way smaller. I don't know why it's putting 25 extra percent in there. And, yeah, we didn't change any of that. And it just that last pass yesterday, it started doing that. Yeah. I don't know why. It's, it's really strange. Ghosts in my holly or something. Yeah. I don't know. But that sounded much better. Well, we lost 6,000 horsepower. So we're down to 28,000 now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with the. I got a couple of spots where it looked like it read right. And it's like upper 700s, but should be way more than that. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. It looked fine. Okay. Wanna take a look? So number five yep. is showing considerably hotter EGT. Number five? Yeah. He yanked that one out. So you said that one's hotter? Yep. Yes. So that's fine. They're all pretty close. There's five. It doesn't really look any different, but if you look here, you see number five is taken off for okay. whatever reason. Assuming these are Correct. You, have you checked that? Yeah, they're all. Okay. All right. Well, so the left side is a half point leaner, and it's averaging, right? So it's looking at both of them. New plugs or same plugs back in? Uh, same plugs. All right. Be fine. I'll put these back in. One good thing about EFI, sure, when you have issues with it, it's kind of hard to diagnose sometimes, but also it shows you things you just don't know from the seat of the pants when you're driving it. So right now, cylinder number five is running hotter and leaner than all the other ones. And with a few keystrokes, we can aim fuel just at that hole because we have sequential fuel injection and we have injectors, not just in the blower where it mixes everything up, but in the intake runners. And so for the number five cylinder intake runner, we're gonna put more fuel to that injector and we're gonna make another rip on it and see if that will cool off that hole um, unfortunately, the dyno, for whatever reason, isn't showing us any power numbers. It can't seem to keep track of our engine RPM. Uh, and I don't know why that is, but this really is more about get the motor even happier than it is than, hey, how much power did it put to the tires, you know? I'm gonna put these back in. The spark plugs look great. We're gonna put them right back in there and keep watching them and see if the change Pete's making shows up on the porcelain of number five and shows up in the exhaust gas temperature pro greetings in our uh, software. Yeah. That may have been why it all of a sudden throws all this fuel at it because one hole was crap. I have another set. that little little hiccup yeah that sounded and felt way better yeah i think it's just that word it's slipping a clutch when you first get it you know? oh maybe that's it so it made a legit 10 15. yeah okay 10 15. at 68. no that was like 72. okay all right, all right. it just the... kept pulling my laptop at? i think the first part of it was maybe clutch slip i think so that's what pete thinks so I got holes still lean? Could be. You want to check it out? Sure. So there's almost no fuel ring in number five. Like light gray. But you put 10 wow. in it and it's pulling five. Yeah, it's way down on the porcelain. Yeah. 
Like if I'm seeing it right, like right as it goes up, like into the, where it starts to curve up, it's like down here. Yeah, and it's very light. 1,015 though. And I actually believe that number. I mean, I, I was almost convinced of the 28,000, but, <laughs> but I actually believe the 1,000. I, I, when you <laughs> look at this, you go, you know what? 28,000 seems legit, yeah. I understand. It makes the same power as three top fuel motors. Right, so. but when it goes down the track, you're like, okay, 1,015, sure, sure. <laughs> Selfishly, uh, you know, 1150 would be nice. Uh, yeah. I don't think a thousand's gonna get us where I need to go. It is. I'm, gonna, I'm curious if it, if the run looks like it felt in the car. I mean, it definitely looks like it's accelerating at a faster rate, no matter how you look at it. Like, like that's actually a lot of difference for the dyno. I know? agree. You can usually not see that much. You know? okay. So we came here and it was adding fuel that we didn't want, and now we're adding fuel. Just in one, just where it needs. Is it still adding the fuel we don't want everywhere else? So no, it's pulling out now. Now it's pulling out. It's crazy. Like it doesn't that make... one hole. Could it misfire? We just can't hear it. Number five. I and mean, that's it, why it's. Yeah, anything's possible, but it doesn't. Normally, I can hear it pretty good. Yeah. You know? All right. So also, the rise rate in number five is higher on the previous pull. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it was it's getting hotter sooner. Got it hotter sooner for sure. So that means that it responded to the change. You know, now with some of the other stuff that's Does doing. Does the change make more power? Well, we don't know that because it's not, yeah. you know, but I bet so. I mean, it's given all indications that it does. Oh, you know. this one just logged. He said it had a power number. Right. So the next one. Maybe it will log as we well. We can compare the two. Right. So, I mean, based off of this, what I would want to do is add uh, more to a couple holes and maybe pull some more out of seven and eight. They're just along for the ride. Yeah. Looks like, you know, so. I like it. It sounded like it shifted again. Hey, I rolled into that one softer a little bit. And I think that's why it sounded different to start with. The previous one, I kind of just decked it. But they look way groupier than they did first pull. Mm -hmm. like, and it's consistently pulling 5%. Or so. Okay. so I think we go like this, yeah, play the clutch, you know what I mean? Sweet. And, uh, All right. That's like the opposite. Like when you made that last pass, it was trying to burn probably 300, 400 pounds more fuel like crazy. Right. It can't do that. It's not doing that now? No. All right, cool. Yeah. I like it. All right, we'll get it down, we'll get out of here. Thanks, yeah. so you gotta go too. Yeah, we'll just ride out there. I think we made 1,015. Okay. So a little bit lower than maybe we were thinking, but talking to Pete, he's conservative here because we wanted to fix that fueling issue that you guys were having, so. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying not to cave in the pistons this time. Yeah. So we don't have the hot tune in it. We don't have all the timing in it. Yep. It's get through sick week. Maybe on the last day we turn it up and try to go fast, but for now yep. it's just get through sick week. Yep. So the sick week numbers are more important than the dyno numbers, but still 1,015 horsepower, not too bad. It's, driving a, in. it's fairly low boost. Like it, it's fun to drive. Time. It yeah. is fun. I love this car. If you ever wonder why do I keep sticking with the Hemi? Why am I beating my head against the wall with a stick shift and a clutch and all this stuff? It's because I love driving this car. And every time I do, good or bad, I learn something, and that's all I care about. All right. It was a good time. Racetrack. There you go. Let's go.